State immunity is a legal privilege to which immune the states to be sued that specifically found in 1987 Constitution Article 16, Section 3, stated that the states cannot be sued without its consent, it which protects the states from suit. The President of the Philippines has so-called presidential privilege against prosecution that makes it immune from suit. In my opinion, this will help the president or public officials to be more focused on their duty, but on the other hand, this will also use them as an excuse from negligence or doing something inappropriate or to violate human rights. Facts of the case There was a fiesta in the town of Lilliput. Mayor Nota requested the town officials to cooperate and make the necessary preparations. He also instructed the engineers to design all the entrances to the town with arch bamboos. One in the day, an arch bamboo collapsed. It fell on the head of Boyet, which caused serious head injuries. He filed the suit against the town. The mayor questions the competence of the suit, arguing the state may not be sued without its consent. The issue is, is this a valid suit against the state? The decision will be, yes, there is a valid suit against the states, as mentioned in the Constitution Article 16, Section 3 stated that the states may not be sued without its consent. Likewise, the public officials may not be sued for acts done in the performance of their official functions or within the scope of their authority. Suit is against a government official, but in such that ultimate liability shall devolve on the government. First, when a public officer acts in a bad faith or beyond the scope of his authority, he can be held personally liable for the damages. But if he acted pursuant to his official duties without malice, negligence, or bad faith, they are not personally liable and the suit is really one against the state. In addition, the Philippine Supreme Court jurisprudence dilemma versus President Duterte year 2019 Laila Dilemma tests the immunity to be sued of the President Duterte, which is weak because of the presidential privilege against prosecution, and for as long as he's president, you cannot sue him. According to Nilo Divina, University of Santo Tomas, Faculty of Civil Law, Dean, same with the Philippine Supreme Court jurisprudence in Essentia Rosette versus the Auditor General that the claim was weak and so denied. According to the Article 2180 of the Civil Code which create liability against the states when it acts through a special agent. According to the Presidential Degree No. 971, Section 8 states that Neglect of duty or non fiance is the omissions or refusal without sufficient excuse to perform an act or duty which was the officer's legal obligation to perform. Incompetency in the manifest lack of adequate ability and fitness for the satisfactory performance of official duties by reasons of the officer's vice or vicious habits. This has refers to any physical, moral, or intellectual quality lack of substantial incapacitates one to perform the duties of a peace or public safety of. Negligence is a legal theory that must be proved before you can hold a person or company legally responsible for the harm you suffered. Proving negligence is required in most claims from accidents or injuries such as car accidents or sleep and fall cases. Negligence claims must prove four things in the court, duty, branch, causation, and damages or harm. In this case, it is clear that there is a negligence on Mayor Nota, given the fact that he is the most responsible with the accident. Negligence is a valid reason to make the public official not immune from suit, so therefore, Boyet's suit to Mayor Nota is valid. Significance of the case In today's world, it is necessary that people are knowledgeable about law. Studying state immunity is one of the interesting and essential things that everyone should know. This issue is important in any aspect of life because the issue mentioned above is the reality of life and the society. Here's our glossary of terms. First is branch, which is the violations of a law or contractual duty. Second, causation, it was the defendant's actions. Damages, the plaintiff was harmed or injured as a result of defendant's actions. 
duty, the defendants owe the legal duty to the plaintiff under the circumstances. Negligence, a failure to behave with the level of care that someone of ordinary prudence would have exercised under the same circumstances. The behavior usually consists of actions but can also consist of omission when there is some duty to act. So here's our references.